Hello again, everyone. Uh, I think a few people are getting used to me having a play now. Um, so I started to have a play this morning and I thought I better just stop this and, and start recording because some people might be interested in what I'm doing. Um, the other day I did a, a short, my first YouTube short or shorts, whatever they call them, about how to get rid of um, gluey smears on the top of mirror card um, die cuts. And I used this essential oil, it's bergamot. And this one was getting, it's getting quite low. So I ordered another fragrance, same company. Um, this one is much stronger smelling much stronger smelling because some people said to me oh be careful of the of the fragrance or blah de blah and all this kind of stuff and i thought well you know this is this is really quite mild it's lovely this sandalwood is is much stronger but one thing i will say some else someone else asked me is there a difference in essential oils you know what can you use all the rest of it both of these it says on the carton that it's suitable for home and cleaning, etc. And that I think is important because um, I tried with one of these, which is a fragrance oil, not necessarily an essential oil. And when I tried to remove glue with a drop of this on a cotton bud off some mirror card, it took the gold off as well. So this one, these ones are fine. I, th I think they're less intense, less strong, and certainly less highly fragranced. This one is more fragranced than that, but it's all a matter of opinion. Anyway, because this was going down, ordered a new one. And when it arrived, the bottle itself had a little stopper in. It's in there. A little stopper and a, a cap. And this was protected by this poly something polystyrene is it tube and I thought to myself oh I wonder if I could print with that so I just grabbed one of the nearest uh, distress oxides and made a background I'll just show you what I did actually I just simply you can see where that's marked did this stamped onto there and onto a piece of card like this And then, gently, or otherwise, spritzed with water. And this is the one I got. Well, I can't use the one I've just done because it's wet. But I, I may well just use this again and again. What a, you know, it's, a, it's got some lovely texture. Little, you know, dots missing and all the rest of it. So what I thought I'd do, I'll make a card with this as the background. And I thought I would just use a silhouette of a plant somewhere over it. And I, I found the bulrushes, cat's tails. So I'm going to cut one of those out. I'm going to use, I've, I've dug out a couple of um, dies from my stitched set. This one is a frame, just a frame. And this one is a, a, a dotted frame. This is a dotted frame. It's got a dotted sort of pattern through it, and this has got a dot for the cutout. But this one fits nicely widthways, but it's too long, so I'm going to have to shorten the die cut to make it fit inside the frame or extend the frame to surround the die cut, and either can be done. So we'll see. When I look at this, That's quite nice. I might extend the frame rather than shortening the die cut. I could do either, as I say. Let me just cut out. Um, I'll put that one to dry somewhere. Let me cut out the bulrushes and then we'll just see where they might look good. Okay. One set of bulrushes or cat's tails coming up. A, one of my normal small card bases and a panel 
ready to use. But I do, I'm very fond of silhouettes and I thought rather than stamp one, I might die cut one. So there's my bulrushes. Look, I thought it looks rather dramatic over the green. Um, I wonder if I should, oh, it does bend a bit. I thought I'd bent it. Um, I wonder if I should do another layer. We'll see. Let's have a look at this. What am I going to do? Um, shorten or lengthen. I think I'll shorten that one. So I'll cut a frame with this and I'll probably cut two so that they are more prominent. So let's cut two of these. Then we can stack them. Need to get a pokey chalk to lift this off the... There it is. Now what I could do but I want a gap. I was thinking what I could do is use this die to cut that out and fit one inside the other. But I had a fancy for a slight gap. Oh, we'll see. Let's just have a look. That's what that would look like. Now I'll cut it a bit smaller. I will cut it a bit smaller. Let's cut another one of these. I'm rambling a little bit, I know. Got to go and pick up another grandchild this morning. Then there will be three. Leo is coming and staying until Thursday. The other two are going home tomorrow. So it's going to be like Waterloo Station at this, at this, in this house for people coming and going. Right, let's have a look. Okay. That's going to be stuck onto there. I don't know the make of these, can't remember. No idea. I wonder if we need a slightly... I want it smaller than that, you see, and that would be smaller and there would be a gap around it. So let me, I think we'll start, I fancy this, I love this little bit of the colour. When you activate oxides, the different um, base colour constituents come out. You can see the blue around here, can't you? See, it's lovely, absolutely love it. Right, let me just cut this out. I haven't gone all the way through. Can you see I haven't cut this end out yet? So let's see how long we want it. Let's have a look at this. What we have to do is make sure, because this die has got little teeth in it, we have to make sure that the teeth are engaged in the holes that were made before. Now, I don't know if you can see here, this is going to be shorter than the original. I'm, I'm just reducing the length slightly. So I'm going to pop it back into the machine. I'm going to have a little jiggle, make sure those teeth are engaged in the previous holes and then just cut part way again. See how we go on. There we go. Now, hopefully, our frame should surround this with the same distance all the way round. And that's not too bad, actually. It could be a trifle shorter. I wonder if I can take off one. Let me just see. See if I can take off one more, like a, a two, <laughs> one stitch less. Let's see. Try again. See, I've, I've taken off this, I'll show you. I've taken off this sliver from up there. Let's try it again, see what it looks like. I want this gap all the way around between the frame. That's better. That's good. Now this can go kind of like that, I thought. I'm going to cut another one of those. I would like that to be a little bit more robust. So here is my black 
card again. We'll cut another one of the, the bulrushes out. Moses and the bulrushes. I don't know if they really were bulrushes, whether they were some Middle Eastern plant, but we never know. Well, somebody will know, I'm sure. Right, there's a, a second layer for that. Better stick these together. Okay, this is going to be such, such, such a simple card. I think I fancy it sort of like that. Yeah, okay, let's join these together. And we'll put, get some glue. I was watching Facebook the other day and just thinking about this this glue made me think about it. There was somebody with a ketchup, tomato ketchup um, bo bottle, I don't know what you call them, and which is the correct way to squeeze it. Most people squeeze it from the label, you know, the flat one flat side to the other flat side. And this YouTube thing, so it, or, I don't know where it was, YouTube, Facebook, said you should squeeze it from the sides. I don't know why that was. I don't know what the what the big tip was for it. Perhaps it doesn't get sucked in so much. I don't know. Right, here we go. Yesterday I was you can see I was I was playing with some pigment pigment powders from Pretty Gets Gritty, I think it was. They are so, so intense. And this blue one went absolutely everywhere. And I've been cleaning that up ever since. And I'm covered in blue. Staggering. So, let us do a bit of assembly for this card. I love this though as a, as a background. I was just about to throw it in the, in the bin and I thought, oh, I'll use that one. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. So um, there is, I haven't got that panel cut. I was thinking I might use that. Let me just find my panel for this card. Right, there's my panel. These two need to be stuck together. Bring back my piece of, this is just a piece of mylar, using it for, um, you know, a palette or mat or whatever you care to call it, really. There we go. That goes on there, that goes inside there, and this will go over the top. I rather care for that. Right, let's just stick this down. There. Now there's some little tiny bits of of looks like um, it's glue or paper paper, you know, detritus. But I'll, I'll just clean that up before I pop it onto the card front. Now the only thing is, do I have a sentiment? And I think I probably will. Um, I think it might be something like um, thinking of you or something like that. It looks kind of a little bit. You know, pensive somehow. So there we go. That's going to go onto onto here. Very quick card. 
very quick, just made with um, one simple die and a bit of rubbish with an ink pad. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. Do, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.